All right, so as you can see, we got the whole case together. Um, I did have to modify, uh, take off the corner of that fan for it to uh, top to sit flush. Uh, it is what it is, right? What is interesting, I didn't think you could see any of the uh, blue light from the top, but yeah, I guess the last fan you do see some of the blue accents. So it might be worth throwing in some uh, red LED fans on the top just to uh, bring it out. I'm really surprised it was not more internal illumination. Actually, hold on. No, the back is illuminated. Uh, yeah, well, let me turn the light off. You probably won't be able to see anything. Uh, uh, yeah, the board needs more illumination. Well, ideally, but it's not bad. Still, I like the case. You know, um, I haven't really given my opinion about the case itself, but uh, what I do like cable management was a breeze, no problem. There's plenty of space below, and remember, I don't even have a modular uh, power supply for all the extra cables that I had to put. Um, I like the simplicity. It basically, you know, it, for a mid tower case, there's plenty of room. Probably because you're not working with those two extra uh, the optical drives, but not even that. I mean, it gives you a lot of space for your regular HDDs. It has some unique spacing for your um, SSDs. Even though I don't need another SSD because it's a one terabyte, I might just throw one there just for aesthetics, just to make it balanced. Uh, let's see. What I don't like about the case, not that I don't, I love the case the way it looks. Um, just small imperfections. I really dislike how you take off the front. It's like, um, if you do get this case, it's you feel like it's gonna break. And you know, if you just, one thing I've learned in building anything, try as hard as possible not to use brute force. <laughs> you know, if there's any other way, brute force usually ends up being bad, you know. Um, even though, if you read the instructions, it says, you know, use some force, but not so much to break the case, which obviously, you know, it's, it's, a, it's one of those mystery things. How do you do that? But, uh, the idea is to do things slow if you can. Anyway, I mean, maybe you have a better idea, but, uh, I, I just dislike when you, when you pull the, the, the top comes off a little bit easier, but the bottom really, and putting it back on, like there's these two hooks, which supposedly you lock into and it, it, you, you get this pulling effect, but putting it on because it's angled, it's not strictly a, a square up here where you can just, it's like weird, you just have to push it in and then you hear everything click, but there's two hooks which you're pushing under this other piece, which, and they're plastic, so eventually, if you, I mean, not that I intend to remove this part a lot, but you know, if you gotta do maintenance, clean your fans, whatever, whatever, you know, you're going to have to be, oh, actually, fuck, I forgot to put the, uh, I gotta do, I forgot to put the, uh, the fan cover on. So, yeah, I'm gonna actually have to go back in there and, and pull that off again, which, again, I, I dislike doing because every time you do it, you're gonna have to, you're worrying about the pins that actually hold this on, you know, it's just, uh, it's a bad design in that respect. Uh, not, not the fact that they use plastic, but the fact that I think they could have come up with something better, even if, yeah, I know it's hard um, looking at uh, the design. I would have rather have some type of secure uh, way to do it. Actually, this is what I think they could have done. They could have put um, screws, threads, and I wouldn't have minded that. Um, and when you take off the side panels, you could tighten it down, and this way the threads would uh, pull the front on be held that way. I guess ultimately if, if the plastic does break you could do some type of makeshift uh, modification like that. But I think that's how it should have came to begin with. There should have been threads um, and when you take off the side panels which aren't hard to do you got plenty of space for cable management so you know you shouldn't be too afraid to take off the other side and just thread them down. Again it's not as easy to take off and clean out your dust filter which I need to put back in. However you know it's you know if you do it every week it's not a big deal. Who's gonna clean out dust? I'm not gonna clean out my dust filter every week. Every month, every whatever, two weeks or so on and so forth. But if you if you do do it every week, you're gonna be pulling this on and off. I guarantee, 
the, there's already a small gap in here because you know it just doesn't close perfectly. I, there's not enough pressure that the internal, uh, whatever you want to call it, mechanism, uh, plastic sec uh, security, or secure locks, whatever you want to call it, give to push this all the way back. It's no big deal. It's very minimal, maybe less than a millimeter or something if you look in there. But you know, it's an imperfection. Uh, I think it would have been much better if they just put threads here. Either way, I. I really like the way the build came out. Um, I'm going to give you one last close-up. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, dark out now, so my room doesn't have a lot of light, so there's a lot of reflection. Uh, so, yeah, I don't even know if this close-up is even worth it. So you got red accents down there at NZTX. Uh, the front. Here, you got the Batmobile looking. <laughs> Something from the Batcave, the Batcave computer. And there you got the odd fan out, right? The blue. Again, that went in my old case, blue and black. So, um, it looks, you know, very satisfactory. I mean, I like it. It looks really good to me. You know, I like the case. I like the way the uh, hard line piping came out. The so far the performance hasn't gone above. You know, the GPU went as you saw. The the most stressful thing on the GPU was uh, Shadows of Mordor, and that went up to about what was it 60s? No, 56. 56. I think 58, almost 60 degrees, which is still that's far lower. It used to go to 70 to 70 something when I used to use it before. So that's significant. And again, I'm not running as many rads as I should. So uh, those those uh, benchmarks were decent. Uh, as you saw under load with the Prime 95, I got to again I think about 60. I didn't run it for long, but I think about 15, 20 minutes I got about 60 degrees on the CPU. I'm going to run another benchmark here. Right now I'm reading 25 for the GPU. Wow. 31 for the ambient temperature and 24 for the uh, CPU. So I'm going to run another um, uh, period test. Take a look at what that does. I should actually run, let me see, I got some time. So. I'm going to run two tests. I'm going to run, this is just for the uh, GPU right now. So let's run, let's run the parrot test. All right, so let's do CD. Plus, okay. Let's start H. Okay, so I'm going to run the parrot test again see what we max out at on the GPU and CPU. Then I'm going to run the another uh, dictionary attack test, which uses GPU acceleration, but doesn't use CPU acceleration. It's um, Hashcat, which um, is actually much more efficient. So I'll be curious if that pushes the GPU beyond what we've seen already. So let's see. Oh, let's do this. So it's wrong. Home thermal. Uh, okay, and chips. Oh, you know what? I am not root. Let's try that again. Insert. Did 
I'm being need to be root boys and girls. on that test. I'm surprised my fans haven't slowed down. <laughs> I gotta figure out what's going on with that fan curve. I gotta say I love the look of this case. I guess the bad thing, oh not bad, uh, maybe it'll inspire me to do some modifications to my setup, but my case used to sit below my desk. So I guess all this aesthetics it's kind of wasted, right? But, um, yeah, I think it would be so much... Oh, the last thing about the case, which I'm noticing now, and you probably notice, you might notice on the film, is that, I don't know, this, this, this matte black finish is kind of a fingerprint magnet. I don't even know if you want to call it that. But, let's put it this way. I use some... I put some Vaseline on the hole so the plastic could slide in easier. And it wouldn't have a tendency to... You know, less tendency to... to more, you know, just as a lubricant, so I can slip on the front, not so much the top, better. And some of the, uh, basically Vaseline petroleum jelly, you know, I had it on my hand, and some of it smeared on the case. And I, I'd done my best to try to wipe this down, just with water, and that didn't work. Then I tried to use some soap and water, that didn't work. So it seems, I don't know what's in petroleum jelly, I don't think it's too strong, but it's, it somehow embedded itself. I don't know, I don't want to call it dead. Because, I mean, usually petroleum jelly dries pretty easily. Um, but it hasn't come out, so keep that in mind. So, essentially, oily substances might be hard to get out of this matte black finish. I didn't want to try anything stronger like alcohol or, um, you know, anything stronger like alcohol or a strong type of alcohol because that might have a tendency to actually take some of the finish off. Yeah, you know, they want to make things worse. It looks good. It's just uh, you can notice those smears. Um, but keep that in mind. Uh, while I'm doing this, trying the dictionary attack, uh, I'll turn you towards the. Let's see. I'll turn you a little more towards here, so you can look at. I don't know if you can see it, but so maybe you can see the. Temps, at least. Let's see. Yeah. I don't know. This is not a professional video. <laughs> I'm just trying to give you something more interesting to look at while I fool around on the web. Not that I'm fooling around on the web. Maybe I should. I'll move. funny when this is actually running everything moves slower um, obviously because it's using both your CPU and GPU you notice like dragging is no way is that in home performance but you see how heavy it's actually using the uh, resources of the computer yeah I gotta see that really bothers me why is that the fan speed slowing as the CPU usage intensifies Well, that's something to investigate. Oh, I just I swore I brought up my uh, browser. Oh, maybe I didn't. Okay. Let's see. Temp up. So.
This is where, oh, this is why I think Hashcat probably only used GPU. Um, what I mean by that is that you can actually do other things with this using both GPU and CPU resources. That's all your computer is doing, basically. One thing I do hate about Hashcat, if you ever used it, um, it won't let you use the old version. I don't understand why. It's a free program, but they won't let you use it. I mean, I could probably uh, go inside the code. And, well, not it's not open source, but you know, probably find some flag in the code. All right, so we're done. Tells me to update Hashcat. Uh, what did we get up to? I didn't even see. What am I notice? I think somewhere around 56 degrees Celsius. Alright. It's still not bad. You know what I could do here? But that's gonna slow down my CPU. Alright, let's do this. This is uh this uses um just CPU acceleration. Uh, what do you call acceleration? It uses uh if you look, all your CPUs are maximum over here. So it doesn't use GPU. Another um, dictionary attack. Let me see. Let's see if I can find uh, how to update Hashcat. Well, I got updated. Database bar cache. Uh-huh. 
use local SMQ to hash tab one point two four. Okay. You just have to download the new version. Okay. Now, since this is using the other one was doing seventy five thousand um, keys a second, this is only doing six thousand. That shows you we're losing about. 70,000 keys per second since we're not using GPU acceleration. Q to hash cap. Okay, so we want to go up to 2.1. Oh, really? 1.32, really? Damn. OCL hash cap. Alright, OCL has cash for NVIDIA. It's going to be an exciting video for you guys, right? Um, what should I do? Should I pause this? Yeah, let me pause this, then we'll run the Q to hash cap, then we'll finish. All right, be back.